Hello everyone. This is a short and simple video tutorial to illustrate the steps required to write, compile and run your very first Java program called Hello World.Java on a Windows computer. In this video I'm using Windows 7, but these steps should equally work for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. This video tutorial assumes you've already downloaded and installed the Oracle Java JDK. If you've not done so, please do it now. So, we will first open up a text editor. I recommend you use the open source and free text editor called Notepad++, which I've opened here. If you are not familiar with Notepad++, I've made a video tutorial available demonstrating how to download and install Notepad++. So, let us begin. I will first write the program. It's a very simple program that's going to display Hello World on the screen. So, public class, and we have to choose a class name which we should call Hello World. Every Java program consists of at least one class. That's why we have this. And then every Java program that we wish to run from a Java virtual machine must have a public static void main method. Now, don't worry at the moment what exactly this method means or what these various keywords are. For the moment, just trust that we have to have them, okay? And lastly, I'm going to put in a, a statement that allows us to print out a message to the screen. And how we do that is system.out.print. Okay, and the message I'm going to print out is hello world. Okay, and I'll put in a little aspiration. I hope this works. Okay, now that's our class. That's our first Java program. As I said, don't worry about what the various keywords mean, what the various statements and the various syntax. That should all be explained in a future video tutorial. For the moment, just type out the program as you see it here. So the next step is we're gonna to have to save this program. So we'll save it, in our case, into the downloads folder, and we'll call it hello world.java. Just to note, that the name of the file, hello world, must be identical to the name of the class. And by identical, I mean also case sensitive. So we have capital H, capital W, capital H, capital W. Okay. So the next step is simply to compile the program and then to run it. So to compile the program, we have to open up a command prompt and we do so by typing CMD. And you see there's a program there, cmd.exe. So simply run that. Okay. Now, it opens up in a default folder, C users admin, in my case. But we wish to locate the folder that contains this program. And the folder is indicated here in the notepad uh, application, C downloads. So we CD downloads. So type DIR to list the folders in that file. There is only one file, hello world.java. Okay. Now we wish to compile this. So to compile this program, we have to invoke a command called Java C. So let's see, is Java C available on our system path? So we type Java C and run it. It says Java C is not recognized. That means Java C is not on my system path. So I have to invoke Java C by specifying the full path to Java C. So in my case, I've installed the Oracle Java JDK into C Java JDK 180 bin Java C. That is the full path to my installation of Java C. You may have installed your Oracle JDK into a different folder, so you would have to type a different path, the folder that you've installed JDK to. Okay. So Java C space and the file name, hello world.java. Perfect. So to compile the program, we simply run that. And there was no messages displayed, which means the program compiled successfully. So the output of this compilation process is a file called hello world.class, as you can see here. So the hello world.class is an intermediary bytecode format, okay? So it is an intermediary format that can, is, can be ported to any different architecture, and by that I mean to a Windows machine, a Macintosh, Mac OS, Linux, etc. okay? But it's intermediary format. In order to run this class file, we have to invoke the Java virtual machine. And to invoke the Java virtual machine, we issue the command Java. So once again, I have to type the full path, C Java JDK 180 bin Java, very good. And then the file name, hello world. But this time we don't type any extension. We just type hello world without any extension. 
and that is the command necessary to run this program. It effectively passes the hello world that class file into the Java virtual machine, which then runs it. And there we go. It ran the program. It printed out, hello world, I hope this works, which is the message that we have here. Okay, if you follow this video tutorial successfully, you have just run, written, run, and compiled your first Java program. That's great. Thank you.